Okay. Thank you for uh, joining me today. This is a follow-up video to the Fulham X5 Nuller CM28 review I did a couple of weeks ago where I talked about if you, uh, the one reason why you may not want to purchase one of these things. And basically what I talked about was the fact that the recording function on the transmitter you may have some the recording function on the transmitter you may have some issues with if you uh, need to rely on that so today um, um, the comments that video got a lot of comments so thank you all for um, and we had some interesting discussions today I'm going to talk about um, setting up the different features that you can use the um, how to connect the transmitter to your computer and how to connect the receiver to the transmitter and what reasons you would do either of them okay so we're not going to talk about the audio connections of the receiver to the computer we're going to use the usb-c connector to the computer and what that looks like okay uh, on my screen here, I've got the, uh, you're seeing the microphone. That's the microphone on the computer. It's the mi it's the uh, microphone, the Synaptic Smart Audio one. And you see, if I click down, there's uh, only one input device, de device. Okay. So now first thing I'm going to do is just, um, this is the uh, full MX5 version of the microphone. And I've got the uh, uh, USB-C cable here, and I'm just going to connect that into the computer, the laptop, and let's see what happens, okay? Okay, I saw the things. I don't know if you noticed, but on the screen here, this changed. Now I've got two audio devices, right? And... Um, If I pick up one of the microphones and start talking to it, you can see here, like if I just move the mouse over right there, you can see that the audio is moving up and down. If I move this away, it's gone. And in here, this is the microphone. So if you want to use, and I'm going to just pick the other one, do the same thing. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you can see that it has detected the microphone and it's no longer using these. So it's a USB microphone, but you connect the receiver. What's important is that you connect the receiver to the computer via USB-C cable. And then I didn't have to install any software or do anything special, right? It was just automatically um, connected to the computer and it just uh, shows up as an option, right? Uh, if you had any other application open that allows you to select your microphone, you can do so with this dropdown because this will just show you what's available to you, okay? The other question that we had asked in the talks was, how do I transfer the files on the um, transmitter when I use their transmitter record function, right? So you have to turn that on. So let's just take one of these guys. And uh, so we're we're talking, you can see that it's, it's picking up my audio here. But if you notice, um, the, the, the blue light is on, there's two lights on these, the top blue one there, that just tells you that it is connected with the receiver. Now, if I hold down the set button for more than two seconds, the record flashing red light is. Now it's recording on the transmitter. What's interesting about this is that you don't need the receiver on to start recording on the transmitter. It's, so it's really cool. The only problem that I discovered the hard way and, and that I talked about in my last video was that I was shooting um, a triathlon team and they were doing a kickoff meeting and there was a lot of um, teaching going on with various stretches and stuff. So I was recording for over an hour 
And when I got back to try and sync up that audio that was recorded on the transmitter, every couple of minutes there was a little glitch and um, that was a nightmare to sync because I wasn't using the receiver to record from the wireless receiver into my audio recorder, right? So that was a problem, but um, f funnily enough, I did uh, send an email to Fulham and told them what was going on. And um, they sent me this one, this guy here. This is another, um, let me get out of the way. So we'll follow for, there we go. This one is a new one and it's um i did a quick test before we got on uh, recording this video i recorded for 10 minutes and i synced it up on the computer and there was no problem so fingers crossed that i just happened to get a bad one maybe or the transmitter because i only tried it on one transmitter that had the problem so um i'm just going to hold this down again for two more seconds and then it stops recording uh, one thing that you can do is that if you, um, it's now recording, but if you click the yellow button again, the set button on the transmitter, it's now flashing blue. That means it's recording with the noise reduction. It's also sending the noise reduction to the receiver. I tend not to use the noise reduction, um, because... I've got noise, uh, not noise, yeah, noise reduction, uh, you know, that uh, isolates the audio from the hum and buzz of background noise. My, I use DaVinci Resolve for editing, and that's got a really awesome um, noise voice isolation set up there. So let me just turn off the recording here. And, uh, and now... You see it's blue. Solid blue means that it's sending wireless to the receiver. And um, there you go. We see it's still sending audio over to the receiver that's connected via USB cable to my computer. And it's got the noise uh, isolated, you know, the, vo the voice isolation on. Okay, so now... Let's stop recording. So now the $64 million question, I'm just going to remove the USB receiver from the computer and I'm going to just with the USB cable I'm going to connect the transmitter to the computer via the USB cable you heard the noise and there we go it even just pops up you saw it here it pops up and those are the two recordings that I made okay so that's it so let's in summary you connect the receiver to your computer via USB cable if you want to um, have the microphones identified as a USB microphone on your computer. Say for a Zoom call that you want to, uh, say you're doing a Zoom call and you want to do a presentation um, and have the camera follow you, but the audio not have uh, be mic'd up and not be have a wired mic. So you could still use the wireless mic uh, on your lapel like this and um, have it transmit that to the receiver which is then mounted to your computer as a USB mic as we saw earlier. And then the other way we connect uh, one of the devices to the computer is you connect the transmitter via the USB-C cable to your computer and voila it pops up and you can see it as a usb drive the only where that might have been a problem is if the letter or something but i think they auto select a letter if one is not available and it'll just pop up as a usb drive okay that's all i've got for today uh if you found this helpful please uh like that would be awesome if you um would subscribe that would be fantastic i love it uh, i'm a new channel i'm growing and i'm figuring out what content works based on some of the feedback i get on my videos that have been out there this is video number eight i i missed last week so uh, there was a two-week gap between seven and eight 
but I'll be back on track next week. So, uh, yeah, thank you and look forward to um, if you have any other questions about these microphones, how you use them, how you um, how you use them. Let us know in the comments if you have any other ideas or something, uh, please put them in the comments. And uh, to the folks who made a comment on my first Fulham X5 Neuler CM28 video. Thank you so much. That was so nice to, to, to get those comments and to have a, we discuss back and forth uh, on a few of them. Okay. So till next time, take care.